Hello, my name is Zachary Till, and I'm an undergrad student at the University of California, Riverside. My research focuses on the growth of monolayer molybdenum disulfide through a process called chemical vapor deposition on silicon dioxide substrates. I start off my research project by putting on the appropriate personal protective gear to, to protect myself against the chemicals used in the growth and the potential fire dangers. To, to adequately protect myself from these potential dangers, I need to put on a flame-resistant lab coat, natural gloves, and safety glasses. The next step is to retrieve the two alumina crucible from the tube furnace. First, I need to open the tube furnace. To do so, I will have to gently twist off the clamp. After a few twists, the clamp is loose enough to open the furnace. Then I will use an extension tool to take out the two crucibles. The sulfur crucible is near the end of the tube furnace, while the molybdenum trioxide crucible is, is at the center. Usually there is a grown substrate inside from a previous growth, so I would place it in a small plastic substrate container for later growth analysis. Then I will take these two crucibles to a designated cleaning area. At the designated cleaning area, I will start off by cleaning the molybdenum trioxide crucible because that is the easiest and fastest to clean. I will place a Kim wipe down so I can gently hit the crucible upside down to get out the molybdenum molybdenum trioxide. Then I will take another Kim wipe to clean the inside of the crucible. Next is a sofa crucible, which can be a bit more difficult to clean because it is melted inside the crucible. I will, I will use a tool to scrape off the melted sofa. I will empty the sofa I have scraped off periodically onto a Kim wipe and continue the same process until all of the sofa has been removed. Next, I will start off by measuring out specific weights and grams for the two chemicals, sulfur and molybdenum trioxide. Many undergraduate or graduate students have their own set of weights they use depending on the growth. So I will start off by weighing out the desired sulfur weight for my growth. I will do the same for molybdenum trioxide. Afterwards, I will take out a spatula to break down and flatten any big chunks of the chemical. This will allow the chemicals to melt faster and easier. Then I will get a clean substrate and place it on top of the molybdenum trioxide crucible and place it at the desired position inside the tube furnace. I will do the same with the sulfur crucible. To start the growth, I will twist the plant back on, set my desired gas flow rate, and set the growth parameters on the control system. In this growth, I hope to find a facile method to grow consistent molybdenum disulfide. From this, I hope to be able to use the data from the growth to make future electronics faster, more energy efficient, and flexible. Thank you for taking your time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it.